measures of center or measures of central tendency. Data can be described by its center and its spread. You can use the mean, median, and mode to describe the center of the data. Or you can use range, interquartile range, and mean absolute deviation to describe how far the data is spread apart. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at these three measures of center, and we'll take a look at range. Now students will often confuse these three words because they look so similar. Here's a couple of tricks to help you remember which one is which. So the mode looks a lot like most, and they both start with MO. And that's the most common, most common appearing piece of data in a data set. The median is the middle piece of data, and just think of the median in a highway, the middle of a highway. The mean is the average of all the data, and it's the meanest or the hardest of the three to find. So let's just dive right in and find some of these measures of center and spread. Now to save a little time, I've already put these numbers uh, in order, and that's the first thing you want to do when you have a data set is to place all the numbers in order from least to greatest, and that'll help you to find these different measures. So the mode is easy. There is no number that appears more than once. There's actually no mode in this data set. Now be careful you don't put zero. That's a common mistake that kids will make because if you put zero, you're saying zero is the most common number and we don't even have a zero in that data set. So you would write none or uh, no mode. The median is the middle number and because the numbers are all in order, it's easy to find the middle. 23 is our middle number. Now again, a common mistake that kids will make, they don't put the numbers in order from least to greatest, and they just circle whatever numbers in the middle. Six would not be your median of this data set. Now the average, if we add up all these five numbers, you would end up with, if we had 6 and we had 20, 23, 37, and 64, that would add up to 150, and we would divide by 5, because there are 5 numbers in our data set. So our mean, or our average, would be 30. And the range is really easy to find. Again, because all the numbers in, are in order, it makes it easy to find. We're going to take our highest piece of data, which is 64, we're going to subtract our lowest or our smallest piece of data, which is 6, and that would be 58. All right, let's take a look at another data set. So here's some pieces of data, and I've already put them in order from least to greatest. You would want to write these on the line. The mode. Now, I see here we have, we have two zeros, and we have three fives. So our mode is actually 5. The number that appears the most in that data set is 5. The middle number, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cross off 2 at the end, 2 here, 2 here, and we end up with a tie. We have two numbers in the middle, and since they're both 5s, our middle number, or our median, is 5. To find the average, we would have to add up all 10 of these numbers, and if you were to add up all 10 of these numbers, it comes out to 48. And there are 10 numbers, and 48 divided by 10 is 4.8. So our average, or our mean, is 4.8. The range, the high minus the low, would just be 12 minus 0, so that's 12. Let's take a look at another set of data. Again, I've already put them in order from least to greatest. We'll start with the mode. Remember, mode is the most common appearing number. And here you'll notice we have two sixes, we have two elevens. You can have two modes. That would be bimodal. You could even have three modes. Uh, so six and eleven, we have two modes in that data set. The middle number Let's find out what the middle number is. I'm going to work my way to the middle. Now we have a tie, and we have a tie between 6 and 9. So what we do is we're going to, do the, we're going to take the average of 6 and 9. So 6 plus 9 
is 15, and 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So our median for this data set is actually 7.5. The average, we would add up all these numbers, and if you add up all these numbers, you'll end up with 64, and there are eight numbers in the data set, so we would divide 64 by 8. So our mean, or our average, would be 8. And the range is the high piece of data minus the low, and 19 minus 0 would be 19. We have a range of 19. All right, let's do two more. Now here we have some data, and it's in a table. So what I've done is I've taken all these pieces of data from the table, and I've put them in order from least to greatest. We have six pieces of data. We'll start with the mode, the most common. And we do have a mode here. We have 213, so the most common, the most common piece of data is 13. The median, let's see what the middle number is. Well, we've got a tie again between 9 and 12. So I'm going to take 9 plus 12 is 21, and I'm going to take the average of those two numbers, so I need to divide by 2. It'd be 10.5, or 10 and a half. So the middle, the middle piece of data is actually 10.5. The average, well, if we were to add up all six of these numbers, we would end up with 51, and there are six numbers, and 51 divided by 6 is actually 8.5. So our mean or our average is 8.5. And then the range, real easy to do. We're going to take the high piece of data, 13, minus the lowest piece of data, 2. It would be 11. All right, let's take a look at one final example. Now this time we're going to pull our data from a line graph. So here we have uh, one piece of data is 10. The next piece of data is 50. Then we have 100 and 100. So we have four pieces of data, and I've put them in order from least to greatest. Let's start with the mode. Well, we do have a most common piece of data, which would be 100. The middle piece of data, well, we have a tie between these two numbers. So we need to add them together, which is 150. We divide by 2. We're taking the average of these two numbers, and that would be 75. So our median is actually 75 in this data set. The average, if I were add, to add up 100, 150, and 10, I would get 160. I'm going to divide by 4 because there's four pieces of data. And 160 divided by 4 is 40. So our mean, or our average, is 40. And last but not least, to find the range, we take the high piece of data minus the low. Our range of data would be 90. So that's how you find the measures of center or the measures of central tendency.